Tina took a deep breath and stepped into the dark mansion of the kingdom's top one gangster boss. All eyes were on her, huh? scrutinizing, mocking and threatening with every move she made. Ladies, this way. Dozens of girls, with various looks and talents, were gathered here for one purpose, to prove they were the long-lost granddaughter of Madame Rosetta. They had to undergo numerous tests to achieve this hmm? goal. If successful, regardless of the truth, the winner would have the chance to inherit an immense huh? fortune that even royalty coveted. Using the tricks and skills she had learned, huh? Elena quickly defeated most of the competitors and advanced to the final round. Congratulations to the two outstanding girls. Now, we'll proceed to the final test, the magic examination. This mirror will only react when someone with magic looks into it. Miss Elena, please step forward first. <laughs> Elena began to feel tense. <laughs> Unfortunately, Miss Elena does not possess magic. Step aside, huh? loser. The mirror immediately reacted when the young girl <laughs> looked into it. Look, so the result is... The result is... Madame Rosetta's granddaughter is Miss Elena. Huh? No, it's not fair. There must be some mistake. Too noisy. Take her away. Few people know that Rosetta's daughter married an ordinary man, had a conflict with her mother, and left home. So, her daughter's child had no magic in her veins. This reunion was bizarre. There was no joy or affection. Rosetta only coldly informed Elena that she had many shortcomings that needed to be quickly corrected. And the rigorous training began at 3 a.m. the next morning. From skills and evasion, agility, and necessary combat maneuvers, to intellectual tasks such as gathering information, gem appraisal, and calligraphy knowledge, all pose challenges for the young lady. And yet, don't think a gangster organization relies solely on brute force. Elena was overwhelmed with business deals and had to act wisely in building alliances and maintaining relations with other gangs. The greatest difficulty came from within the gang itself. We can't follow a boss with no magic. Are you sure she's really your granddaughter, Madame Rosetta? Whether she is or not is my decision. But you're indeed too weak. If you don't improve in these two weeks, I'll send you to a girls' academy to be disciplined. In the following days, Rosetta had little time to care for her granddaughter because they were preparing for an important business deal. According to the plan, they would conduct the transaction with an allied gang in an empty plot within a refugee camp. To avoid the royal court's attention, we must clean up the refugee camp. Burning it down? Oh, Rosetta, you're always so ruthless. <gasps> Elena bravely tried to stop her grandmother. Huh? Who gave you the guts to eavesdrop on my plan? Do you think you're clever? Grandma, I once lived in that refugee camp. Their lives are already very hard. Can we... That's their problem. If you have time, go practice instead of dispensing charity indiscriminately. I must do something. Look at what you've done! Elena's defiance caused some members of the organization to be exposed and captured by the royal family. A wave of anger erupted within the organization, demanding mm -hmm. that Madame Rosetta handle Elena properly, regardless of her being her granddaughter. It took a lot of effort for Rosetta to calm them down and resolve the situation peacefully. Huh? Yet, a fire disaster still occurred at the refugee camp as initially planned. Grandma! How could you be so cold-blooded? They were all innocent. Mm -hmm. I told you, I don't care. <laughs> it's because you didn't care that my mother left. Our family is like this because of you. It's all your fault. 
How dare you speak to me like that? Stop right there! The Cold War atmosphere continued until one night. Who's there? Don't bother me. I'm a messenger. I just saw Madame Rosetta unwillingly taken by David and some thugs. So I rushed to inform you. Grandma is in danger? Impossible. She's always so strong and cold. Are you still mad at her? It's not what you think, actually. It turned out that the fire was just an arrangement by my grandmother to avoid royal pressure and give them a chance to disappear and have a new life. I was an orphan with no relatives, so she kept me as a messenger. Elena quickly grasped the situation. She took her grandmother's familiar weapon and followed the boy. So, Rosetta, you have no huh? escape. Hand over the aquamarine and we'll take care of Miss Elena for you. <laughs> if not, that girl will. <laughs> it's useless. Hmm? I lost it a long time hmm? ago. Sir David, she's not lying. There's no aquamarine soul on her. Lost? No matter. It's easier to take over this organization. You're old, Rosetta. Time to retire. Elena used the skills she had learned, plunged into battle, and amid the chaos, supplied weapons to Rosetta. Though slightly injured, the boss and her granddaughter narrowly escaped. The organization lost. Elena and Rosetta temporarily lived in a small house in the suburbs. To avoid detection, huh? Rosetta had to live as an ordinary person without using magic. Everything seemed quite difficult for her. Oh dear, how do people live without magic? This gave Elena a chance to show off. She showed her grandmother how they huh? could live well without magic. Can this be eaten? Just try it. You'll know if it's edible or not. My mother loved the fish I made. Oh, it's not bad. The two had many joyful moments making Elena realize her grandmother wasn't as harsh or difficult as people thought. <laughs> Elena felt incredibly lucky to be her granddaughter. Moreover, her grandmother had her own sorrows. Since her daughter left, Rosetta never escaped nightmares. Huh? I'm here. It's okay now, Grandma. I regret it. I always regret it. I tried to fight your mother many times, but she always hid from me. All I received were a few letters from her. My granddaughter should fit this clothes, right? Mm. The second time I heard about her was when she was no longer alive. <laughs> Tell me, is there any pain greater than a mother losing her child? I failed her. I failed you two. From now on, you have me. We'll always be together. With Elena's comfort, for the first time in many years, her grandmother could sleep peacefully. Through Tom, the messenger boy, Rosetta contacted some loyal confidants. Hmm. Mom, I found the refugee camp where Miss Elena's mother lived. The aquamarine might still be there. I secretly placed it to protect Elena's mother, but... <sighs> Everything was ready to help Rosetta find the precious stone containing half of the organization's magic. It seemed like a perfect plan until the night before. Elena was captured by David. My daughter seems to be doing well after betraying me. The truth was, David had many illegitimate children, including <laughs> Elena. Most of her childhood spent in a refugee camp. Until disaster struck the camp, and she was once again left homeless. David took Elena in and assigned her an important task because she was quick, resembled, and was the same age. The same appearance as the girl she needed to impersonate. Yes, Elena was not the granddaughter Rosetta was looking for. Elena's mission was to infiltrate the gangster's house, become her weak spot, and search for the whereabouts of the valuable aquamarine. Useless! Huh? Not only did you fail, but you also became a burden to me. Father, things are hmm? not as you think. I did this to gain Rosetta's trust and get information about the aquamarine. Really? Elena huh? revealed Rosetta's plan for the next day, along with the loyalists. <laughs> That's my daughter, but don't think you can deceive me. If your true identity is discovered, neither Rosetta nor her allies will spare you. 
David never imagined his obedient daughter would actually dare to betray him. <laughs> What's this, girl? If you surrender and come to the palace with me, everything will be fine. If not, as you see, everything here is rigged with explosives. Elena wanted to redeem herself to her grandmother, so she secretly drugged Rosetta to prevent her from joining the plan. Mm. All right, all right. You are my daughter. I wouldn't let you be in danger. Come on, let's surrender together. <laughs> but immediately after, he turned hostile, <laughs> grabbing Elena and planning to sacrifice her to the explosives. Warned you, didn't I? Goodbye, disobedient brat. At that moment, her non-blood-related grandmother, Rosetta, appeared like a deity. <laughs> It seemed there would be little chance for them to survive until the clip on Elena's hair suddenly glowed. Unexpectedly, the gem on it was the aquamarine, the only thing that could save them now. It turned out, the friend Elena met and cared for at the refugee camp was actually Rosetta's real granddaughter. To repay the favor, that lovely girl gave Elena the precious hair clip. So my daughter was so angry with me that she did something to make the gem unrecognizable. With the aquamarine, Rosetta gained more power and captured David. Rosetta spared him, but handed him over to the royal family. A painful end for a gangster. You knew from the letters I wasn't your granddaughter, yet you still saved me. I knew even before that. Do you remember the fish dish? My daughter was allergic to fish. The information spread was that she liked fish to hide the gang's weak point. I'm sorry. The memories I shared, the things I wanted to do were all stolen. Even the affection you gave me. Did you feel moved at that time? Yes. I truly love being your granddaughter. That feeling can't be stolen. Let's go home. Ah! Don't! Don't go to the sea or you will face disaster! How dare you curse us, you bad omen! Please, listen to me, or disaster will come! Leave now, or don't blame me for being cruel! Have you ever felt helpless? Just standing by and watching? Unable to prevent it? Fate is so ironic! Heaven gave me the ability to know who is about to die, but made me witness their tragic departures. Remember to come back early, Banshee. Since that fateful day... <gasps> death has forgotten me. But I can see the life candles of those about to pass on their souls. At first, I didn't understand the meaning of those candles. Only huh? when... <gasps> Is anyone home? <gasps> Despite my explanation that he didn't have much time left, Death seems taboo. No one wants to mention it, not even me. Grandmother, you! Why hasn't Banshee returned yet? Oh dear. It's just a slip. I'll get better. I will save you. Despite the fear, I couldn't back down. Hmm? <laughs> Please spare her. I am willing to trade my lifespan for hers to live. Impossible. Huh? Please! 
It seems I have caused disaster. Huh? Banshee? <gasps> Please let me fulfill my last wish before taking me away. It's not too late. Huh? Huh? Please help the old man. I gave him seven days. So I thought death would spare huh? her and thanked him profusely. Hmm and went to the sea to catch fish to buy medicine for her. But death appeared to announce death. Banshee, your grandmother is looking for you. Huh? No, it can't be. Grandmother, please don't leave me. Why did you spare the huh? old man but not her? A soul released cannot be recaptured unless their last wish is fulfilled. You must thank death because... I've come to take you away. Please, let me see my granddaughter. I am content, leaving without regrets. Promise to live well, so I can rest in peace. I promise. It's time. Thank you. I'm just following the rules. I realize how much people yearn to see their loved ones when they are close to death. So I'm no longer afraid. Huh? For the first time, someone thanked me, even though I announced their death. But sometimes... <laughs> Banshe knows how to announce death. Really? Never misses a single prediction. However, death seems displeased. <laughs> Whatever you do, you can't change death. I want to see them depart peacefully. Stop, or you'll face disaster. For the first time, someone asked me to see their fate. Huh? You don't have much time left. You should go home early to your family. Huh? Impossible! Please, help me prolong my life! <sighs> but I didn't expect things to turn so bad. <gasps> She's evil. Whoever she hates, she curses to die. Because of her curse, my family member died. The merchant didn't <gasps> accept death and vented all his anger on me. He incited the families of those I had announced death huh? to. Huh? I just want everyone to cherish life. I dare not go out because no one wants to see me. Unexpectedly... Huh? Banshee, what have you done with the souls? What do you mean? Death said he couldn't find the soul of the merchant, even though he had died. And also, the souls I accidentally released were missing. It's really not because of me. To prove my innocence, I decided to search for the souls with death. Huh? It's getting dark. Can we rest? Humans are indeed troublesome. Despite being cold, death allowed me to rest. Huh? <laughs> the kind old lady let us stay huh? overnight, but she probably won't live much longer. She pleaded with death to let her see her son one last time. Please help the old lady. <sighs> Miraculously, huh? death quickly brought her son back. Huh? Since huh? her son had to work far away, they had been separated for a long time. Don't you feel happy when they are reunited? No, I've witnessed too much separation. Everyone fears death, but I always hope you would come to talk with me because... Huh? Ha 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 Who are you? 
forgot to introduce myself to my huh? benefactor. I am Lupus. <laughs> so you're the one who stole the souls. So what? Now that I have 100 souls, no one can stop me from resurrecting. Turns out Lupus has been observing my every move to capture the souls of the unfortunate. <laughs> How does he have such great power? He's a dark soul that refuses reincarnation. Huh? With the power of resurrection, I am not his match. Lupus is gradually resurrecting. <gasps> and I am the one who led him. Why am I always causing trouble for death? I just want to help people. I'm sorry. I'm glad you help others. Continue to be persistent like that. Is death driving me away? What is he planning to do? Leave now. No, I can't leave you. <laughs> Will death risk fighting Lupus? It seems I've discovered something strange. It's useless, Lupus! What did you say? You hastily captured the souls when their time was up. So even if you become human, you won't live long. I've waited so long for resurrection. Do you dare say it's useless? Even if I die, I'll take you all with me. Huh? Uh, huh? I told you to leave, didn't I? I won't leave you. Don't get in my way. i figured out how to deal with this. Don't think saying that will make me leave, but it huh? seems death never lies. Oh, souls. Use the power of death's heart to resurrect. You dare use forbidden power. If you destroy me, you will also be punished. Ah! The souls will get to visit their loved ones one last time. Huh? huh? <laughs> Why did you have to risk your life against him? If he had resurrected, maybe people would have died. It's all my fault. Thanks to your suggestion that the souls hadn't completed their time, I was able to resurrect them. Thank you, Banshee. But at that time, I didn't know the consequences of using forbidden power. A hundred souls visited their loved ones and cleared my name. Even if I appeared to announce death, they still happily thanked me. Cherishing life is the most precious thing. Just that I again got into trouble with death. Huh? <laughs> Are you okay? What's the matter? I heard from the souls that death will never have emotions until his heart is healed. Death? Can you be my friend? Oh! <laughs> I've never been more embarrassed in my life. You... you heard that, right? <clears throat> I can't believe death didn't hear. One day, his heart will heal. Death, you've forgotten me! <laughs> the Black Pink Celestial Tear Diamond is a precious treasure. Some say the diamond brings power and luck. But there are also those who believe it only spreads misfortune. The Celestial Tear is strictly guarded in the palace of Prince Akira who will rule the powerful elves' land in the future. At the same time, he's also a talented detective, passionate about solving mysteries and collecting gems. Tonight, the mouse will surely fall into the trap. And a heist of the century is about to unfold. Eve Princess is a notorious gem thief. Her head is hunted by many countries for a tremendous amount of money. An easy victory! However, easy never comes with victory, especially when facing the genius Prince Akira. <gasps> this prince is quite good, but I still have an ace up my sleeve. So, the mouse has successfully fallen into the trap. 
What a self-satisfied cat. Don't let her escape. <coughs> Thief Princess has already escaped. To the clever cat, see you next time. Ha! Next time, I'll create a more sophisticated trap to capture the little mouse. Thief Princess, whose real name is Lamia, <laughs> is the princess of the dynasty land, the land of the finest silk. But alas, <laughs> Lamia does not accept the royal <laughs> princess life, wearing flamboyant dresses and having to appear gentle and proper with strict standards. <laughs> At 18, Lamia decides to flee the royal palace. She lives under a different identity, a thief princess, a famous super thief, liking to steal the most valuable gems for her collection. In the first theft, Lamia was called Red Hand. She stole the Blue Moon Diamond from the tyrant Erebus, but failed. She met Marple. A smart and talented lady. Truly not knowing one's limits, my father guards very strictly. He is a cruel man, always oppressing the common people. You are right, and I don't want to become a cruel person like that. I want to be free, just like you. Marble devised a perfect plan to help Lamia successfully steal the gem. Don't. It's just a trap. If you touch it, your hand will turn to ash. You deserve to be its owner, rather than my father. Since then, Marble has always been by Lamia's side to help her. Lamia's base is an abandoned castle. The two spread rumors that this place was haunted, so no one dared to venture near. Marple, look at this. This is the legendary Celestial Tear. Celestial Tear is cursed. Its previous owners were all haunted by mysterious demons leading to madness. Marple, don't overthink it. I don't believe in ghosts. It's all baseless rumors. Yet she did not know that terrible disasters were about to happen. Lamia began to be stalked by strange demons. <laughs> it's all just illusions. Perhaps I'm just too tired from being mentally drained. Things reached a climax on the night of the lunar eclipse. The moonlight was completely swallowed by darkness. That was when the demons rose strongly, invading the abandoned castle, wanting to capture Lamia to the end. Lamia, give the celestial tear to me. I will become its new owner, replacing you to bear the terrible curse. The disaster I caused, I will bear it myself. Oh, demons and evil spirits! Now I am the owner of Celestial Tear! <laughs> Lamia, don't worry about me. Run! <gasps> Marple, wait for me. I will surely find a way to free you. Thief Princess, come here and steal the Aquamarine. Akira continues to display another diamond named Aquamarine with the effect of purifying and repelling evil spirits. Lamia, after reading the information on the proclamation, is determined to obtain the diamond to free Marble. Thank you, young lady. She's walking through all the air. How strange! Will the little mouse continue to win this time? <laughs> Will Prince Akira's trap succeed in capturing the legendary Thief Princess? Thief Princess, you were too overconfident. But it was just a straw man. This is an ancient trick. I just sprinkle magic powder on the straw man and recite a spell. It will transform into the person I request. Poirot, bring Aquamarine to my room. Yes, your highness. Your 
Poirinus, there's another Poirot being held in the storage room. We've been fooled by Thief Princess. The Poirot earlier was her in disguise. Hurry and capture her for me. Yes, your highness. Uh. Ah! Marple, how are you here? Lamia, follow me. Hmm? Where's Marple? Thief Princess isn't here. Let's search elsewhere. Marple, thank you, but why? <laughs> Has the little princess awakened already? <laughs> uh, hmm. Who are you? Why are you impersonating me? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a notorious thief hunted under the name Joker? <laughs> he has the ability to impersonate faces very skillfully, so no one knows his real identity, age, whether male or female. <laughs> I am Joker, but also Marple. The real Marple died long ago from severe illness. I impersonated her to approach you, Lamia. Initially, my goal was to use you to help me seize valuable uh. gems, and then I would replace you as the princess. <laughs> Actually, the celestial tear diamond was never cursed. It was all my plan. I used fairy powder, turning straw man into terrifying demons to intimidate you. I was about to return to Dynasty with your identity, Lamia. Then I heard that arrogant Akira challenged you with Aquamarine. The diamond is the twin sister of Celestial Tear, and also a treasure I've been hunting for a long time. I guessed you would risk your life to save me, so I followed you. Huh! This is the engagement gift he gives you. Indeed, during the years we've been together, I've also grown fond of you. After I kill your father and successfully usurp the throne, I will welcome you as my queen. <gasps> no, you can't do that! When Joker <laughs> leaves, Lamia remembers her father, feeling incredibly regretful. Because of her greed and selfishness, she put people in danger. The princess! No! Princess Lamia, it's a pleasure to meet you. I forgot, your hands are tied. My apologies. Aquamarine is my trump card. It turns out to be a fairy bug with a tracking function. Thanks to it, Akira could easily find Lamia and know her true identity. Akira, please help me escape from here. My father and the kingdom are in danger. I agree, but on one condition. That is, afterwards, you must surrender. Agreed, I accept. <laughs> it's an honor for me, for being handcuffed with a noble princess. Your Highness, it's best if you keep quiet. <laughs> father, I'm sorry for making you worry. Lamia, I'm very happy that you've matured, understanding your responsibilities towards the kingdom and its people. Father, listen mm. to me. She is Joker, mm. a notorious thief. She impersonated me, plotting against people and seizing the kingdom. Hmm. <gasps> Father, don't believe that thief. I'm your real daughter. Guards, imprison those two imposters in the dark dungeon for me. Sentence them to life imprisonment for impersonating royalty. Lamia and Akira despair at the prospect of spending the rest of their lives in the dark dungeon. Father, I invite you to a drink, to a prosperous dynasty. And also toasting for the future queen of dynasty. Stupid old man, the wine contains a lethal poison. 
Just tomorrow, I will become the King of Dynasty, living a carefree life without fear of arrest warrants. Oh no! The wine has... Sleeping Potion! It turns out Lamia and Akira had arrived at the Dynasty Palace before Joker for a while and told the King everything. Then, the three of them cooperated to devise a perfect plan to capture Joker. Super Thief defeated. Give it back to me. I should be the one saying that, right? Prince, thank you very much. I have repented and I'm ready to surrender. But Prince, that won't happen now. Lamia, you're still as cunning as ever. <laughs> This fool didn't know that I quickly switched the diamond for a stun bomb. At least he won't wake up for 10 days. To Prince Akira, I will fulfill my promise to surrender. But that will be when I'm 70 years old. From now until then, I will still be a super thief, but will steal from the rich and give to the poor. Thief Princess, are you ready for the next challenge?